not the asset. I'm not just saying asset, uh, knowledge management, but knowledge asset consists of three categories. The first one is human capital. The second one is organization capital. Third one is you know, relationship capital. As just a new technology emerges nowadays, among the three, actually, in relation to what you mean? Accelerate, accelerate, in terms of acceleration. So, anyway, whatever, okay, you just uh, take your position and describe. If you choose to take one position, your action. Your approach it should be focused on just improve. What about next? Enhance. Where you stand is now or now. Just to innovate. If you just interested in innovate, you can get me that of just be offers. More offers. Okay, through innovations. If you just succeed in just uh, making innovation work well at your institutions. How to innovate your institutions? You can use the different strengths. What is the, the difference between you know, the closed innovation and open innovation? Closed innovation means that, okay, the focus is I'm going to innovate our system using the core competency of the incumbents. What about open innovation? We do not have you know, just a competitive uh, competency. So we are going to innovate our system okay, using you know, outside you know, resources available outside. What about the smart innovation? It quite depends on the situation facing you. Sometimes we want to exploit our you know, internal you know, core companies. Sometimes we want to outsource okay, you know, the competency we do not have. It will be kind of a smart innovation strategy. And what is your expectation from the innovation? You just you know, think about you know, improve. You just think about you know, more outcomes. You, I'm just even throwing this in there. Distribution, outcome distribution. This is quite normal. If you just go to front of that, you are able to get more outcomes okay, in terms of the past way. The A is the average number of students. The B is the average outcomes. H, higher outcomes, and the lower fail rate. Every time, just a, uh, whenever you just a, uh, look front to look, from left to the right, right okay, you can get okay, more outcomes from the science. I would expect the uh, university to take you know, the right way. As you see, uh, just a show on this slide. Okay, this is a slide of you know, the major factor in politics. The quality of education and learning is consists of the you know, quality of instruction and research, and the quality of support, and the quality of service. Those are very important factors as key factors. How to achieve the quality of instruction and research? In March, the in the here, the contents are. Second one is the quality of support. You must provide infrastructure. You must develop the service and the services for students and the faculty members. And what are the quality service? Where does it come? This content of success. Also, all you know, the matters. 
competency is not just kind of the question, some to bring us what you must have to achieve. To probably have is the efforts taking out taking out the Before setting up all or before setting up What we must know. Someone just, you know, having to say that oh, we know all, you know, all about you know, generation one, the current generation. They do not know. What you know prior to innovation? Demographic, technology, globalization. What about globalization? Generation Y. Generation Y is totally a different generation X. Most of uh, most most of the person who have been the same as me was the developing generation X. Anyway, they are part of the process. Technology is safe. And uh, much more oriented to team up and outcome in the center. And the cosmopolitan. What about technology? Yes, technology is set to communication technology and the, uh, just the uh, uh, new you know, emerging technologies. Web technologies. What about globalization? Okay. Immersive in honor. Immersive in private and corporate network. With your own. You are expected to achieve you know, high believe, high believe you So, pay more attention to how to globalize your institutions and your nurturing systems. You have the quality of education. But be part of you know, uh, the very part of important to you. So, based on our understanding of generation one, okay, we come to be ready for, to prepare our contents for generation one. Okay, they are born in between 1977 to 1997. Okay, as I said before, the general characteristics of the generation rising of the left. For them, what to teach? Please do not try to teach them. Try to make them to know. That is key issue. And so, you can communicate skills, critical thinking, analytical reasoning, and problem solving. Those four are mentioned. I follow the guideline of OECD. And the other parts must be also must take and pay more attention from faculty members and education institutions, especially higher education institutions. Basically. And this is one of you know, the to the your know, learning process. And I have uh, you know, I have I have said all this learning design. I this this uh, international not probably international organization, extended organization for e learning. So I've been just uh, working for an executive student council member of IMS. But anyway, it just uh, provided kind of you know, how to formulate, how to formulate the you know, learning activity on the basis of the you know, very uh, common frame. Most of the you know, professor who have expertise on e learning has been talked about in instructional design. But now, this is a move from instructional design to learning design. Okay. Uh, if you want to just uh, to make your uh, learning process or you know, e learning quality much more you know, uh, competitive in terms of the global uh, you know, standard, I think that I'm going to encourage you to, to use, more use, okay, just an open source software, okay, including learning design tools. 
recourse, recourse is one of them. It's really nice. And the uh, second, the deformance slider, which is the, okay, next slide, the catalogs. That is kind of a <coughs> learning design tool on the basis of you know, much more graphic interaction. And using this tool, you can just uh, describe the learning activities on the basis of the similarity, similarities that you want to make kind of uh, much more interesting okay, to your students, as well as the learners. I'm going to talk about how you maximize your the relationship capital with the partner Actually, now many universities have been collaborated with to enhance or you know, to innovate something for the university as well as for the citizens, faculty members. But this is kind of a symbolization of you know, university collaboration. On the basis of the four basic functions the university information system, the content repository, website library information system, and the learning platform. It's kind of integrate, integrate education and the university uh, information infrastructure. Okay, and outside you can see the open education resources repository. Some countries, just like the UK, okay. Recognize the open is to education conference. So that's why uh, UNESCO, IAPE, as well as in the MIT, and Open University in the UK, okay, the company have you know, their strong interest in you know, open access to the education resources. They think about you know, how to leverage the open is to education resources for improving or enhancing or innovating. You know, Okay, the previous one was just in a contemporary model in terms of collaboration. But I'm going to really talk about it now. Cloud computing. Well, okay, experts has not expected cloud computing bring us a sea change, a sea change in securing every kind of resources. Why we expect a system from the cloud computing? Before the emergence of the cloud computing, to you know, establish kind of infrastructure means that we must uh, you know, purchase, okay, buy, buy, and own. Even though after you know, our purchase of you know, software and hardware, the sum of the facilities we have as well as ever used it must be useless. Okay. What about you know cloud computing? When you did it, okay. I can pick it up you know, the right you know, material as the right you know, facility from the cloud. Where's the cloud? From the sky? No. ISB. Just like Microsoft and Google. Many of the global companies. So, just if you just compare to the previous one and this one, the very core part of the university information infrastructure can be replaced by cloud different cloud projects. So it is the version of it. I mean, that is you know, I just you know, uh, Mentioned this kind of collaboration. This is a you know, smart collaboration in terms of cost effectiveness, in terms of you know, just uh, flexibility in security resources. Okay, next. I'm going to talk a little bit about the evolution of you know, the library, library system. The contemporary library system is uh, very focused on you know, inviting students. Decided to borrow you know, books, periodicals, and to collect, to look at, and just you know, what the media information But now, 
it has been shaping to be kind of cautious thing. But it is not just, a, uh, just for me, it is not uh, just a way of doing it. What is next? You might think about you know, the library as kind of a hub of knowledge. What do you mean by hub of knowledge? It must become to be a kind of you know, just an you know, exchange center, a sharing center, a disseminating center of knowledge. Okay? So that is my point. And so if you just uh, you know, uh, able to uh, follow this track, your library, okay, your library tend to be kind of what you know, personal life library for you and the citizens. We have the uh, Korean government has you know, for similar project, but just except for you know, the scale of your smart innovation. We initiated the smart free initiative, which has been aiming for to create a smart culture through the implementation of infrastructure as well as you know, creating smart uh, citizenship, smart work, smart business, okay, smart administration, smart government. What is smart government? It's kind of a you know, personalized government service. This is one of you know, the digital library. Okay. Where more you know, ubiquitous technology is installed. That is the 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 digital library of Song Yunnan University where I was working. Okay. Okay, this is part of it. Yes. What are the issues of your learning? The first one is globalization. Well, we need to you know, diversify the market or uh, your touch. And also just say, you know, we need to encourage to uh, accommodate more you know, open, international open space. And uh, we are facing also a very important uh, this issue, how to accommodate a different demand from formal education, non formal and informal. Some uh, this professor talked about in during this my uh, yeah, uh, chatting time before coming up here. Uh, very uh, impressed by the students okay, chatting using kind of you know, smart gadget at the lab, uh, at the end. How to accommodate, how can you keep track of your decisions and people in the gym? But uh, with or using you know, the LMS designed for just in a formal education, it's not really good. It's, it's uh, you know, almost impossible to track out your decisions and things that didn't get part of your decisions and things. Okay. So, what else we do? We just extend our learning platform towards getting you know, what you want in the granularity as well as the flexibility to take care of home, non home and informal. That's kind of the And also, <coughs> we need to develop you know, uh, another, just a better added e learning model. E learning is just e learning. In the case of the Korea, we are just uh, to understand e learning as kind of a new business. Either in reading a certain service of HLD, HLM. Okay, also, we needed to pay more attention to develop new quality assurance law, new quality assurance system 2.0, where you must accommodate different you know, demand from generation Y. So in the fourth part is that you know you, you just must emphasize in ultimate learning satisfaction and also the awareness must be you know, taken into account and the social network is also a very important part of the evaluation system design. Okay. So and uh, what you know generation uh, wise in a pattern they must be based on the mobile personalized and tailored collaborative. Okay, the other issue is how to leverage available resources for the purpose of innovating your quality of education or quality of learning. The last part is how to mature. Okay. 
how to make the, uh, your uh, personnel to be much more competitive, to challenge you know, the future of education. So this is the evolution track of your digital learning technology. And we are going through the complexity phase of the learning and your learning and the smart learning We are just you know, talking about you know, the flexibility in learning. Okay? So, in this case, what are the flexibility that I just mentioned that you know, the learning platform must be able to care of okay, every demand from the formal to non formal form. So, in this case, flexible learning framework must be support a very diverse kind of you know, learning uh, demand. That same kind of integrate in the learning platform. Okay, this is, uh, those are considerations uh, when you are a public person to design quality in the system for next generation. You must even pay more attention to motivational factors. Those are just almost an you know in previous, you know, the contemporary uh, quality of those are perceived usefulness and emotional factors. One is compared to anxiety also, part of you know, things that you must even pay attention to in the design of your body. Uh, uh, also, the other part is the cloud for value. Okay, and uh, to understand the potential of the cloud computing. How much affected by cloud computing in the future, given your ELM system as well as your and also, the other one is that we need to extend the domain of assessment okay, to accommodate outcome and evidence and to collaborate, okay, just uh, to be collaborative using the uh, social networking tools. Also, because you're using uh, dynamic using information to implement the portfolio. Also, it's just concerned about the Open uh, education resource and open course data. That means that you must pay attention to awareness to your open resources. This is the, the summary of the important lesson is how to orchestrate every different product. This is a kind of the, uh, our government lesson. Okay. Through the implementation or initiating ICT education. Many so, those, thanks to the you know, orchestration of you know, those you know, uh, different issues, we are successfully okay, down ICT in education, including your learning. So, how are you success in your learning? Okay. Due to this political focus. The second one is the leadership of the president, the leadership of the government. Really important. And also, we just to pay more attention to understand who generation Y, who they are, and what they need, how to teach, and how to pretend to learn. Take into account the value of long hair, the value of long hair at your university, at your organization. And so, the conscience of your personnel. It's quite important. So you must also you know, pay more attention to how can you clear in the queue and faculty members of the institution staffs peers. And to keep track of you know, the changing okay, for the innovation, you must you know, design your performance system. It's good now. To keep track of what is happening in the process. Thank you so much for your attention. Back to your early, earlier slide uh, about the faculty's uh, competency. Uh, could you please explain or describe, uh, describe more about the what their competencies should be.
So according to the confidence of the three aspects, the first aspect is just knowledge aspect. The second one is you know, the uh, behavior aspect. I'm not quite sure. Third, after looking at my slide, I'm going to speak to you. Anyway, the very important part is that you know, knowledge of subject is very key important. The second one is understanding of the students, the second part. So how can the two? Okay, just according to the survey done by Korean experts, we just classified what you know, the competence of the professional drama. Actually, it is uh, consistent in three aspects. Aspect of knowledge, aspect of technology, and aspect of that. And what I mean is the number in the parenthesis is that the priority when I think about, you know, whenever I think about you know, the competence of instruction. Also, another competence you can, I'm going to share with you, This is part of the tutor's This is part of the registration of the next presidency. In the case of the you know, ministry staff, uh, mm -hmm. just uh, according to their job, okay, they must take care of their different kind of companies, but the common frame would be the uh, common uh, competency and the uh, world specific competency. Okay. So based on that, you must be the uh, prepared kind of maturity programs. That's enough to respond to your question. Okay, thank you. Another question? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Could you please make the key concept that you mentioned earlier clearer about how you shift from ISD to LD, you know, instructional system design to learning design? Yes. 